property taxes. To the average person, they're a mystery. You expect them to go up, and sometimes they do. Other times they go down, with seemingly no reason. What's the explanation? Turns out there are 14 important answers. 14 reasons why property taxes go up and down. We Minnesotans love our homes, but that pride of ownership comes with a price, the annual property tax bill. I'm Colleen Needles. We know that our tax bill is somehow related to the value of our homes, but that doesn't explain why our tax bill can go up or down from year to year. In fact, Minnesota may have the most complicated property tax system in the nation with more than 20 classifications of residential, commercial, agricultural, and recreational property. So don't feel bad if you don't understand how it all works. It helps if you think of property tax rates as a balancing act. Property owners each pay a share of the total cost of local government, including your city or township, your school district, and your county. Add in things like school referendums, and more money is needed, and your taxes can go up. But there is much more to the equation. At least 14 reasons your property taxes may go up or down. Reason number one. If the market value of your property changes, it can change your share of the total bill. But this is just one piece of the puzzle. Each property in Minnesota is reviewed every five years. And if your property value has fallen, you may pay less. However, if you add an addition or make other improvements, expect to pay more. Also, your home is an asset that can increase or decrease depending on the market forces in your community. Sometimes your assessment goes up or down simply because your property value is compared to other similar properties in your area. Of course, you have the right to appeal your assessment. The market value of other properties in your taxing district can also affect your tax bill, and that's reason number two. If most other homes in your area go up in value and yours does not, your tax may go down. If new homes have been built in your district, that increases the tax base and could also lower your share of the total tax bill. However, new homes require infrastructure improvements like streets, curbs, and most importantly, new schools. And those costs can offset increased tax revenues that the new homes generate. Market value certainly affects property taxes, but so does the cost of government. Our property tax dollars go to pay for direct services in our communities, things like road repair, schools, and yes, even our police and county sheriff. The levy is the term used to describe the total property tax collected annually by each unit of local government. For instance, in cities and townships, the budget reflects the needs and wants of residents and pays for services such as police, fire protection, public works, parks, and other services. If citizens want nicer parks, the levy goes up to pay for improvements. If city leaders cut back the number of city workers, the levy goes down. Such changes can make your tax bill go up and down. The state also plays a role in the levying of property taxes. Each year, the state legislature sets a dollar amount to be collected using the state general property tax levy. If you own a commercial, industrial property or a seasonal recreational property, the property taxes you pay will be directly affected by this legislative decision. The state general property tax levy is reason number three why your property taxes may go up or down. Reason number four, the city budget and levy may change. Reason number five, for those who live in more rural communities, the township budget and levy may change. And reason number six, the county budget and levy may change. But it's a bit more complicated than that. Part of each local government budget is based on the changing needs and wants of residents. For instance, building new parks or funding projects like the County Historical Society. That's called discretionary spending and the decisions are made locally. However, cities and counties must also pay for mandates and decisions made by federal and state governments and the courts. School districts must access additional funds for these mandates through a voter-approved operating referendum. Non-discretionary spending includes social services, tax collection, and solid waste management. 
None of these mandates are local decisions and all can change from year to year. The other big component of your property tax bill and reason number seven, the school district budget and levy may change. The state legislature sets the general education foundation formula for schools so that it's consistent from school district to school district. However, the local school district can set their own levy for many services such as safe schools and community education. When those levies change, they can make your property tax bill go up or down. School districts can access additional operating funds through voter-approved school district operating referendums. In many areas of Minnesota, there are special taxing districts for major public assets, such as watersheds and drainage areas. When a special district's budget and levy change, your property taxes can go up or down, and that's reason number eight. There are other ways that a change in local spending can affect your tax bill. Reason number nine, while not technically a tax, special assessments may have been added to your tax bill. Typically, it means new water lines, curb and gutter, and street overlays serving your property, benefiting you directly. You are also billed directly, and it's usually divided up over a number of years. Sometimes you and your neighbors vote to voluntarily raise property taxes in a referendum. That's reason number 10. The referendum allows schools, cities, townships, or counties to exceed their levies for major construction. Projects like a new school, courthouse, sewer system, or other public projects. You'll pay extra, usually based on your market value. As stated earlier, mandates from state and federal lawmakers and courts also impact local taxes. Decisions made at the state capitol can hit you where you live. In fact, between 60 and 85 percent of what your local county does on a daily basis is the result of such mandates. One small example, the state of Minnesota has told all its counties that it's their responsibility to pay the cost of state prisoners housed in county jails. The federal government tells counties to collect child support payments, and it tells cities and school districts to provide access to all public buildings for people with disabilities. There are many more. Changing mandates make up reason number 11 of why your property tax bills go up or down. State and federal lawmakers also affect local property taxes by changing the amount of aid sent to local units of government. Examples of intergovernmental aid are local government aid, county program aid, and market value credit aid, and more. A significant percentage of the money spent by local government comes from the state and federal governments. Reason number 12. When the level of that aid in the form of grants and other payments changes, it can cause property taxes to go up or down. The state legislature also sets the share of the tax burden for all the classes of property mentioned earlier. Reason number 13. If the legislature decides to change the relative share of the tax burden of those properties by altering the classification rates, that can raise or lower your property taxes. In many cases, the legislature has provided funding to offset those tax burden shifts. The final reason that your property taxes can go up or down also involves our state lawmakers. Sometimes they pass laws that affect a community's local tax base, perhaps affecting how much you pay. Two examples are limited market value and metropolitan fiscal disparities. Reason number 14, changes in laws that affect your local tax base. We've learned that the value of your home and the homes around it and any changes in them can affect your property taxes. We've learned that the spending of cities and townships, counties, school districts, special taxing districts, and referendums have a huge impact on our property tax bills. We've learned that the actions of our state and federal lawmakers and courts can land on our doorstep when it's time to pay the bill. And there's one more thing we should know. All of these different factors are constantly changing and interacting. Increases in some parts of your property tax bill can offset decreases in others. That's why your mayor may tell you he or she cut city property taxes, but your overall bill still goes up. Sometimes we get lucky and several factors go down in a single year and our property tax bill is actually lower. 
The important thing to remember is that Minnesota's property tax system, as complicated as it is, is designed to divide up the cost of all the government services we've come to expect. Some of the decisions affecting your property taxes are made by you and your neighbors. Some decisions are made at the state capitol, and others are made as far away as Washington, D.C. They all add up to the 14 reasons why your property taxes can go up and down. I'm Colleen Needles. This presentation is brought to you through the cooperation of the Minnesota School Boards Association, the League of Minnesota Cities, and the Association of Minnesota Counties.